I think it's very unusual to have a series of this kind set in Iceland. I think it's a very original idea that Britain's Zell, the writers and directors, had. The whole show is set in a hotel that my character has recently built in Iceland. We went and shot it. I'd never been to Iceland before, and it's epic. Being in a country where the tap water is perfect, energy is free, so much of it is geothermal. And so the idea that Andy Ronson, one of the richest men in the world, had chosen Iceland as a place to build a hotel that's also a fortress, that's also a bunker, that choice felt very real. We shot some incredible scenes in some harrowing places. And action! I mean, the first day of shooting, we were shooting Darby and Sean on the snow dunes. The only way you could get to the location is if you traveled 25 minutes across a frozen lake on the back of a snowdew with somebody. And then we would like ferry the equipment back and forth on sleds. But I think it all adds to that sense of mystery and adventure. They have shot a few movies there and they nearly always use it if they're trying to set scenes of other planets or because it's so extraordinary. Thor and Leifert, they sort of are the heartbeat of this company called True North, which was the company we collaborated with. This canyon is quite unique and it, this was discovered only a few years ago when they built the dam and the water level decreased. These beautiful basalt walls were seen for the first time. In the winter time, it's so difficult to get here. There are no tourists here at all, but we managed to work with the locals and the landowners and the farmers helped us a lot, making it possible to, to, to bring a, a crew of this size to this location. Iceland is a place where you can't just turn up and get the camera out and go and shoot somewhere. True North was just incredible in terms of taking us to the places that this project need, but making it possible safety-wise and practically to pull these things off. Our safety team are very experienced mountaineers, and they also have experience in the local rescue team. When we are working on uh, locations like this one, where you can easily fall down into the gorge, they need to uh, put in anchors and safety rope, they have people in harnesses, just making sure nobody fall off the cliff but this particular location is very remote and uh, nobody has shot here before in a winter time. So this is uh, a challenging job for everyone, not only the crew, the safety team as well. But so far, everything is good and uh, we're gonna keep it like that. We'd like look at a glacier and then I'd turn to Thor and I'd be like, but can we get on the glacier? And Thor would be like, we absolutely can. And he'd go to the van and just like pull out all these cleats. And then we'd trek out on this huge ice glacier. When Andy comes out to say goodbye to the ambulance, that's actually Thor there. I would have put him in every scene. We were all smitten with Thor. When we were on our location scout, we would scout all day. And then we'd go to the baths at night, which is traditional Iceland experience in these geothermal hot springs. Like, oh, okay, we got to write this into the story. Icelandic people of their nature. This is a nature bath here in, in East Iceland, and we are located here at the wild lake Urreva. So underneath the lake, we've got hot water coming out. We decided to utilize that. This water that we have here, it's got algae in it, but it's like cool and good for your skin. In Iceland, where the weather can change every five minutes. In film crews, we have such a big apparatus that we think we can navigate anything. And what I kind of loved about Iceland is Iceland was just like, nope. Like, this is a huge storm that's coming from a direction they've never come from before, and it's going to dump all this snow, and you guys are just not going to shoot for three days. I actually got hypothermia <laughs> shooting very, for outside for a very long time in very cold temperatures. I have cerebral palsy. This production has done so much to make it an accessible experience for me, including hiring an access assistant while I was in Iceland. His name is Kjartan, so we had to take a very small plane in a very small airport. We get onto the tarmac. As we approach the plane, the wind was so intense. I literally thought I was going to die and not be able to be in this show and have to be shipped back to my parents in a casket from Iceland. Kirtan made sure that I made it up these small steps onto the plane. Thanks, Kirtan, for making sure that I got back from Iceland in one piece. Last day in Iceland. <laughs> we made it. I mean, being in Iceland was 
insane. What a place to, to work. It kind of takes you out of your head because you really can't think about anything else other than just being there and, and being present. It was great. It was hard. We, we were cold. I was cold. I was cold. The clouds that changed every second. The sky is just trying to please you. No one has tried as hard to please me as that sky. Oh, and it's really shaped over there. Hello, you go to the small pool. <laughs> Mind your backs, everyone. This is amazing. This is the most amazing thing. Seeing the aurora boreal is kind of a phenomenal thing, I think, for any human being, like normal. When the sky starts to blaze bright green and move above you, you can't help but feel small and fragile and how a sort of blessed we are to even be alive, which is coincidentally one of the things the series is also about. I've had one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Amazing experience. Travel and tour the world and see dazzling things, but it's another thing to do it with a company of people where you're all connected to the same mission, which is this story. I mean, don't you just want to get in there? Yeah. How are we not in there? Britt and I turned to each other at one point, and you just can't believe the experience of imagining something together for so long, for years, and then it coming into fruition. That's a wrap. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you very much. Well done. Happy, Happy Iceland. Thank you, everybody. That was a hard and very long journey.